Hello, super fans. Welcome to Alberta News and Views. You got to check out this press conference that Justin Trudeau had today. He made a housing announcement, and the whole time there is protesters in the background. This right here, I'm just going to show you the a, a small clip of it. But this right here is a perfect example for everybody in the world right now to see of what it's like in Canada. Justin Trudeau lying, gaslighting, do whatever, doing whatever he can to make it seem that everything is okay in Canada while there is protesting in the background. This right here is Canada. And I'm warning you, huge trigger warning. He gets asked by a reporter how he's going to pay for all of his promises that he is making. Listen to this. Let's learn from this. Next question. Hi, it's Lindsay Armstrong with the Canadian Press. Prime Minister, how does government expect to pay for these significant pre-budget uh, spending? Uh, we will be uh, releasing a full budget uh, on uh, uh, in a few weeks. Uh, right now, we're talking about some of the elements in that budget, including today's announcement uh, on significant investments in housing supply to make sure that we're both building the infrastructure but also changing the way housing is built across this country. Over the past number of months, 170 different nine agreements, 179 different agreements have been signed across the country, not just for different projects here or there like the ones we're in, but to change the way housing is built in municipalities and regions across this country to make it easier and strong and faster uh, to build on underused land, uh, to use more federal lands, to concentrate zoning and densification. There's a significant uh, change in the way housing is built across the country, and we're going to continue doing that with this <laughs> announcement today. And can we expect higher taxes on the wealthy to pay for this spending? Uh, core to this Liberal government approach has always been fiscal responsibility. We have the lowest debt-to-GDP ratio in the G7. We're the third largest economy in the world with a AAA credit rating from the international bond rating agencies. Our fiscal plan is stable and responsible, and we will continue to put fiscal responsibility as we invest in Canadians, in their communities, and in jobs at the centre of our upcoming budget. Pretty much all of the numbers in Canada's GDP growth are fabricated or just a straight up lie. We have an immigration economy that is funded by taxpayers and supported with a credit card. And that is the truth. It's hilarious that he thinks that his government has always been or is fiscally responsible. Taxes is what's supporting all of these programs. He makes promises. Taxes go up. It is the same thing as his housing accelerator fund. There is less houses being built right now than there was last year. He needs to resign everything. Everything about Justin Trudeau and his government is a complete disaster and a failure. As you can see, follow me on Substack and Spotify. All of you out there like share and take care.